G'day fellow hikers. So this is my show and tell for the food that I'll be taking on the Overland Track this year. So it's Saturday afternoon now. We're just at home downtown Launceston. So we'll head up to, to Cradle Mountain tomorrow, pick up our passes and settle in and then we'll, we'll start the hike proper on Monday, March 20. It's 2017. Um, so we're taking eight days to do the hike this year. Just gonna take our time with a, a rest day in the middle. So eight days worth of food equates to to this pack, little stuff sack here. It's about three and a half kilos of food all together. So that's pretty much breakfast, lunch, and dinner over those eight days. So let's open it up and I'll show you what we'll be eating. So there you go. That's what eight days what the food's like outside of the stuff sack. So maybe we'll just start with the the drinking options to start with over those eight days. So generally on the Overland Track you're going to find plenty of fresh water and especially lately so February, March this year 2017 it's been plenty of rain even a little bit of snow a few weeks back so I don't have any fears for not getting fresh mountain cold drinkable water just to add to the flavour though I've got these little SIS science in sport little hydration tablets and you can just stick it in your water bottle so it's just a little little tablets one or two for for a litre of water so that's just a bit of a bit of variety to drink during the day now I'm a very bland eater and I don't drink coffee so if we start for breakfast pretty much every day you're going to have the same thing so I'm just going to have bog standard porridge with a little bit of water and one little satchel of sugar and then to finish it off just a little hot chocolate so that's enough to to get me up and moving make it through to breakfast uh, sorry through to lunch so day one Actually, we're kind of roughing it in a hotel. So day one, breakfast at the hotel. Don't have to carry anything. Day one, lunch. I'm actually just going to take a fresh bread roll, a couple bread rolls and some bananas and just have that maybe at Kitchen Hut. About halfway through, going around Cradle kind of area. So all I've got is just some snacks. So again, I've got this SIS. This is a isotonic energy gel. So you don't need water with this, you just crack open the top and suck it down and it gives you that little bit of an energy kick. I come from a cycling background so these are these are really good, these energy supplements. Chocolate bar and little pack of sultanas. So night one dinner. Now we're going to try something a little bit different. Normally in past hikes we just go for the dehydrated type food which we're kind of getting a bit sick of so night one overland this year we're going to try to make our own spaghetti bolognese so we just got some dehydrated mints spaghetti bowl kind of flavoring type packet just from the supermarket a bit of pasta and a little bit of tomato paste so hopefully that'll at least get us through that first night and then just to Finish off the day with a little hot chocolate and just some little cheese and biscuits and a little cheese stick. So that's day one. Day two, so again, just porridge, hot chocolate for breakfast. For lunch, I'm going to go with these, one of these continental packs. So you just boil up water and chuck this stuff in and about 10 10 or so minutes later you've got a reasonably kind of palatable bowl of pasta. What my plans are though, so this is a pack for two, so tomorrow night I'm just going to chop up, pretty much split that in half, so that will last me two, two lunches. I'm doing that throughout the week, so one pack will last two days. Again with the snacks. Isotonic energy gel, chocolate, sultanas. Night two dinner. 
again we're getting a bit spicy here very unusual for me so wifey's come up with this idea we're going to have try for a mitch chow min type mix so again we've got some some dehydrated mitts here we've got some noodles and this magi kind of magic little potion so that should a little bit of variety there and then again finish off the night just have some some bickies and cheese day three so again porridge hot chocolate for breakfast for lunch we'll have the other half of this pasta pack and then same thing for snacks just the energy gel chocolate bar and sultanas at some point throughout the day then for dinner we start tackling the the backcountry dehydrated food so this one's honey soy chicken now these are no offense backcountry but they're not the greatest of flavor they do taste like rubber after several days of having it but yeah you don't do hikes like this for the for the gourmet aspect so this just stick your boiling water in it let it stand for at least 10 minutes and that'll do me for dinner again cheese biscuits after snack day four so again we've got pasta hot chocolate this we intend to be our rest day day four so got another one of these little pasta packs any gel chocolate and sultanas maybe weather permitting we might try to summit mount ossa so i'm just throwing in a little cliff bar here just a bit of extra energy and then night four dinner another one of these back country so just go for a, a spaghetti bolognese with the hot chocolate and cheese halfway mark so we'll celebrate with some fruit tingles day five again porridge hot chocolate and lunch will be the other half of the creamy bacon cabanera pasta pack dinner going for a roast chicken this night again the back country the chickens i do find they, they really do taste like rubber but you just gotta do it for queen and country and get the food down you need that energy so you just can't not eat on the overland so hot chocolate biscuit and cheese to end the night day six again breakfast porridge hot chocolate lunch another one of these pasta packs uh, again another energy gel so this one's another brand gu this one you do actually need to have water with it as opposed to the sos one so you can just down straight out of the pack chocolate bar sultanas and then for dinner uh, creamy cabanera backcountry meal along with hot chocolate cheese and bickies day seven so again pasta hot chocolate lunch will be the other half of that pasta pack i've got a little little nougat summer roll here these are nice nice and chewy for dinner uh, this one's a vegetarian stir fry again just hot chocolate and some cheese just to end the night and then the final day so we've got porridge hot chocolate another one of these pasta packs in your gel chocolate bar and then just depending on where we are how much energy we have left just got a spare pasta pack here so ideally night eight we'll be at lake st clair and we'll be having one of those mouth-watering hamburgers at that our visitor center but that's just a bit of an emergency type food and hot chocolate and of course to celebrate the completion another pack of lifesavers so there you go eight days worth of food so again that's a very bland i got a very bland palate nothing fancy it's pretty much just get it in get it down so that I can go on with the next day. Nothing fancy at all. We'll see how we get on.
there you go, so that's our food, my food selection for the coming week on the Overland Track, so I'd be interested to hear what everybody else recommends or has for their multi-day hikes so feel free to to leave a comment or if you like our videos just like click on the like button or subscribe to our channel so we'll be putting a little link up there to another little video for show and tell of my all my equipment for the overland track so there'll be a little link down in one of the bottom corners there and we'll also uh, put up our little day-to-day -day journal as we progress along the track so Thanks for watching.